guys, welcome to my channel. It's Mel here from Mel Dobby Scrapping. Um, I am here to play along with a hop for Desiree's um, 1700 subscriber hop. I hope I pronounced her name wrong. You know what it's like with Australian and American different ways of saying things. Now this is the, I'm going to do a scrap lift of her page that she did with a big um, photo. Um, and she's got ink blending in the corners um, and you all know I like to ink blend um, except I haven't got a big photo I've put four photos together well I'm going to put four photos together um, <clears throat> gone with a different color combination hopefully it works um, so congratulations Desiree for 1700 subscribers you're doing brilliantly um, and I um, quite enjoy watching your videos and I have noticed one thing with Desiree's layout um, it looks like she is a minimalist <clears throat> so not overly huge amount of embellishing so which kind of works out well for these photos because I don't have much to embellish them with. Um, I got a few hints and tips off Cheryl, my uh, good friend in Canada, um, with what I could put for cave photos. Um, and she gave me a few tips and I found some... I had a packet of creative cuts uniquely creative um, and they look oh, not so much old-fashioned but they've got an antique look to them and to be quite honest I haven't used them yet so I thought they might go perfectly with my cave photos and I kind of wanted to get more photos onto the one page because um, I'm down to the last four photos, so I thought, well, let's combine them. Now, which way does that go? That way. Now, this is actually a photo of, in between rocks in the cave, there was water trickling through. And that's how some of the water comes through, is actually just through gaps in the cave. So it's a very, very different experience. And, like... Pictures like this. This is rock formation. Doesn't that just remind you of like you're in space on the moon or something? It just, yeah. Just different things just makes you think, oh, goodness. And the other thing that I think of when I see that is Star Wars. Different backgrounds they had on Star Wars. So I'm quite happy to be here celebrating um, this special occasion. There will be other ladies also celebrating and they will all be listed down below in the description box. I'm just going to get these all laid up. Now the brown that I've got here, I'll show you in just two seconds. I've taken my band-aid off and it's still extremely tender to touch anything with, so I'm still not using it properly. Um, this is actually really flimsy paper. It's not actually cardboard um, because I didn't have any dark brown cardboard left. So I thought, well, let's just use up that paper. Right, I've got that mounted. Believe it or not, Colours I have chosen are ground espresso, saltwater taffy, and picked raspberry. Now, I'll just check that's going. Yes, I'm hoping this all works. I'm going to start off with brown. marks all over this page. I don't know how I've managed to do such a thing. Okay. 
push along that way a bit. Okay, so that's my brown. And then I've had a bit of a test. I'll go with salt water taffy. I'm going to wrap that as hot with salt water taffy. Just like that. You won't see some of that because the layout will be over it. Okie doke, that's what I've come up with. Maybe I should go with the brown a bit more along. I'll go like that. Okay. Okay, let's go with that. Now we're going to top our Is that still in? Yes, it's still in. Make sure it wasn't off camera for you guys. Pop this photos on. Yep, that looks alright. Okay, so before that sticks down too far, let's go. Oh, is that a come off mate? Oh, I knew that would stick down before I wanted it to. Okay. Alright, there we go. We are on. Don't know if that's straight. It'll do. Um, now we've got some corners. I noticed Desiree had some corners on hers. So let's go. I found these corners. So let's go so that we can actually see what we're doing here. But go into that corner. That one. Um, that's got those used up. I don't know how long I've had those. Quite some time. Now it's going to go... That's over too far, isn't it? I meant to use that. Like that. So let's go and that's all I'm going to call this uh, the title of this is photographs. I'm going to put foam tape on that so that stands up. Thin. Like so. Okay. 
we're going to go like that. Okay. I haven't decided where I'm putting that camera yet. But these I had to go something like that. I had... Oh, I don't really need that corner one. I'll just take that off and use that another time. So I had this that I wanted on there. These are just, I have embellishments sorted into colour and I just got the brown container out. These are all really old embellishments of mine. And I mean really old. So I'm kind of getting some stash used up, old stash used up. Let's go under and put that there. I might pop that up on foam as well. Getting stuck here. Try and rip that off. Foam is tape stuff and it's not brilliant to cut extremely sticky <laughs> right so the clock is going to go underneath oh sorry everyone Hands don't want to work. So that's going to go there, and I'm going to go there like that. Didn't get any. A little ant, antique ant looking thing. Well, let's put an insect on there. Because it was like lightning things in there, like what they call lightning bugs or fireflies, or they made lights. Oh, so pretty. So let's have him coming out there. Okie doke. I'm just going to put, well, I don't think that really fits. It's going to be too big. Right, let's leave it at that. <clears throat> Let us go with, I have Dimentis. I hadn't picked any out yet. I've got those little brown ones there. And then I've got these ones. Let's dig into these. Right, so I'm going to go one up there. Even though I don't have three clusters, I'm going to do it in three areas. So one on that side and then one on this side. Okay. I'll go a big brown one to start. And a pearly brown. There we go, I finished it off with my three uh, gems or enamel dots. 
I'm breaking off and show you. That's that area. And then that's that area down the bottom there. And there we have it. Make sure that is so that you can see it. There you go. I don't know if that's crooked. Okay, so that's my layout done. I'm quite happy with that. Um, and I'm quite happy to have been playing along with Desiree. I've been watching her videos and YouTube channel for quite some time. Um, so if you think that you liked this um, layout and wanted to have a go, press pause, take a screenshot and have a go. Um, there, you could have just used the, like Desiree did, the one big photo, or you could have used one f smaller photo matted it a few times and then ink blended all around it and did three embellishment clusters no problems at all um at the same time if you did like what i did if you could give me a thumbs up that would be fantastic if you're new to my channel if you'd like to subscribe it doesn't cost anything same with the other ladies down below listed in the description box go along have a look at what they've done subscribe to them because it doesn't cost to subscribe to the, them either give them a like send them a comment and say i really like the color blending or i really like the backing that you did or i like those antique things that you used um ephemera that you used um you know just something to say something that you liked about their layout and it would make somebody really happy especially if they're not having such a great week um, thank you to all my new subscribers and to the, all my other subscribers that have subscribed. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming along and watching all the time and sending me likes and comments. It's been great. Um, and yes, thank you very much for, for watching. So I'll see you next time. Bye for now.